Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Sukhi Learn. Uh, I am Subjinder Singh and you can call me Sukhi. Well, uh, today I'll be continuing from where I left in my last video. Uh, it is regarding extracting data from uh, from a last in the last video I discussed this extracting data from a PDF file. In this video, I'll be discussing about extracting data from an image file. And uh, before I start this video, if you're watching my channel for the first time, I would request you to please hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so that you can get all the updates as soon as I upload my videos. So let's start with this particular example. Um, this is about extracting data using the OCR package in Automation Anywhere. Uh, the use case details are the same as it was there in the previous video. Uh, we need to automate the process of entering invoice details. The process includes the steps of opening the invoice and then reading the invoice number, date, purchase order and invoice mom. And these are the steps uh, for the automation. First, I will extract the data from the invoice, uh, which is going to be a JPEG file and uh, <clears throat> save it in a string variable. After I save it in a string variable, I will be uh, using the string package to extract the text in a way that I meet the requirement of extracting the required parameters and then show them, uh, show the parameter values in the uh, message. So that's the objective uh, of this video. So let's get started with this one quickly. All right, so here are the invoices. Uh, which I'm using as an example. These are JPEG files, as you can see, invoice one, invoice two, and invoice three. Now, the information that I need to extract is invoice number, invoice date, purchase order, and the invoice amount. So these are the parameters that I have to extract uh, from this particular file, and this has to be done for all the three files. So this is the input file. This is how it looks like. And uh, let's start the coding now uh, and see how it goes. Okay, so now I'm in my control room and I have created a bot uh, with the name extract PO OCR. So here the first thing I will do is I will, uh, I have to process three files. So I need to start a loop that is going to process the three files. So let me just start the loop. Let me switch to this view and you have to say for each file in the folder, uh, the path of the folder is this one. And I will save it in a variable called file name. So for every file in the folder, I will have to use the OCR package. And I will say open by path. So it is going to be the input path and followed by the file name and extension. So I will provide that by using the dictionary variable. So this is name. and extension. So say trim this and everything else will keep it normal. All right, so now I am, so here I will have to save this into a variable. So I can give any name actually. So, so many variables created, so I say output. So, output is the string variable where the output is going to be stored. Now, just to check, I will add this function of message box. And I would say output. So, ideally, it should show me the content of those three invoice uh, JPEG files which I just showed in the beginning or before this uh, particular part. All right, before I uh, run this bot, just to note that uh, this particular packet supports only these extensions. 
So if you are getting a file in a different format, it will not work. You may want to convert that and then uh, use it accordingly. So let me run this and let's see what the message box. So ideally the message box will have the content of the invoice in a structured format. Also, it is always advisable to have the data structured or semi-structured so that we can build some logic for extraction. Now, here is the data. It is in a proper structure format um, where I can see the invoice number is over here. I can see the invoice date is over here. I can see the purchase order here and the invoice amount is captured like this. Let's look at the data of the second invoice. Again, it's in the same structure. It follows the same structure. The invoice number is here. The date is here, purchase order is here, and we have the amount over here. So the common thing in all the three invoices is that the invoice number, this value is available between this text and between this text. This value is available between this text and this text. This value is available before this and after this and this value is available before sorry after this and before this so we are going to use a string string extract function uh, in this way that particular action in this way to get this required data yeah, so again you can see the information is in an is it's available in, in a structured format for all the invoices between these two you have this you have this this and between terms and invoice amount you have the actual value so that is the uh, that is the plan and that's how we're going to use the string package string extract action okay so Let's go to string package. Sorry. Now this is the action that we are going to use. Our source string is going to be output. So before and after, this is what uh, we are looking at. Now here is the file so we're saying before invoice number this is how invoice number looks like so sorry it is going to be before invoice date starts after invoice number and ends before invoice date Okay, and we just keep everything as is, and this is invoice number, so I will assign this value to a variable called invoice number. I'll copy paste this action, and here, this will become the first value or the first uh, parameter the second one is purchase order so I will say purchase order. okay so this will go here And quantity this is the next value so, this is purchase orders so I'll not change the value of the variable will be purchase date it's correct so invoice number 
purchase date, purchase order. Voice number, purchase date, purchase order. And the last one would be amount. So amount will be between invoice amount and terms. So it will pick up this entire thing. Invoice amount and terms goes into the invoice amount. So I'll take all these three variables and now display it in a message box and that should do the job. So dollar invoice number, then purchase date, or should we like do it this way, purchase date. Purchase order and invoice amount. Okay, so this should do the job, and uh, let's run this and see what happens. So now we will just compare the invoices here. This is the first invoice. You can see 10280 22 August 2018 62.86. So that's the the value extracted correctly here. Yeah, this is the second invoice. Uh, you can see 10281 22 August 2018 26538 and $123.69. So it's extracted this one as well. And the last one 10282 22 August 26539123 dollars so here's the thing it's so the job is done and all the values are extracted uh, correctly you can you know depending on the requirement you can push this data into a csv file or you can also push this data directly into a database all depends on what the use case requirement is all right so that's a wrap to this video i hope uh, this uh, this was useful for you and uh, once again, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, I would request you to please hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon so that you can get all the updates of the videos that I keep uploading. And also, please leave a comment. Uh, let me know. Uh, let me know your your views about these videos. Show your support. Hit the like button. And uh, well, thank you once again for watching this video. Go be great and keep learning. Thank you.